Um, good morning, church. My name is Sarah Wangerenia Angoku. I am currently a uh, student in Cape Town, but I'm from here on the river. I am here to glorify the name of the Lord. What he has done for me through his servant, Apostle Um, In June 2020, I came here with uh, a problem of a moving object in my forehead. I noticed it got worse when I had to study. So what I normally do is I would try to apply a compression bend over my forehead. I I would wear what they call a hair bonnet into my face. Or I would tie a scarf that is very tight into my face. If I didn't do that, it was very difficult for me to focus on my studies. After the man of God prayed for me in June 2020, when I returned to Cape Town, to the glory of God, I did not hear that moving thing in my forehead anymore. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lord Jesus! Uh, my second testimony is uh, at the end of last year, November, I had a very big exam. What you call an OSCE. Before you continue, can you just tell us what are you studying in Cape Town? Do not go to OSCE Cape Town. I'm in Cape Town. I'm sub specializing in medical ultrasound. Medical ultrasound has to do with imaging of uh, the human body. Yeah, it's better known as sona. Um, and it looks at pregnant people, gynae related pathologies, muscles, veins, and so on. And that assessment um, at the end of last year required me to prepare for a lot. Um, and I had to prepare for a lot. I basically had to go through everything. Started. And the OSCE setup is such that you are given 15 minutes to perform whatever examination you find given in front of you. And I had to prepare for that. So because I was not sure what to study for exactly, I developed a feeling of panic and anxiety. I decided to contact the prayer line and they prayed for me. 
After they prayed for me, I sat on a study table again. I remember that was around 1 a.m. And the day was going And I had to get the hospital for assessment at 8 in the morning. So having a few minutes to press my last um, notes before I sleep, Monday I had to rest because I didn't want to go there so tired. I went through just a few pathologies before falling asleep. I think six or seven. On the longer quick to avoid and how many hair you wrap up. And to the glory of God, the same diseases that I studied just those few minutes before I slept. Were the same diseases I found uh, in the examination rooms the following day. You explained that you had the spirit of fear and anxiety. So tell us what happened after prayer. After prayer, I was very calm, going through what I would call 5% of the entire content I needed to know. And he will go and tell that I know to give my own party up. Being very calm and going through only a few of what I needed to know, I was not anxious anymore, I was not panicking. The Kangu woman and a lap of my car, no, I didn't know what a poor bad that I was in the middle of the year of a time. I went to bed with faith that all shall go When I went for my assessment the following morning, I sailed through all the stations that were set in front of me. And I passed. Not Peter. Your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> now take us through the results of how you passed. Um. Was a lady with pelvic pain. And 
that in. And they were trying to rule out an ectopic pregnancy, an abnormal pregnancy. Okay, me vahala okun monifa okana kai shashokwani na etelero diel na. And I got eighty-five percent. No, that one. That one we don't have to know. We don't have to know. We first have to know. We don't have to know. The fourth one was a gentleman with a swollen neck. Oh, she didn't know what he was on the bed when he was on the bed. And they were trying to rule out any muscular or vascular tumors. No, why you didn't? Bara tu tarik gengge okuna oitumba. And I got seventy four percent. No tabo na e percent na biro kohia na ni. We have seen what the Lord has done. Oto amu nyesho mene kamu kanda. That after prayer, anxiety and fear has been defeated. Ucha kwa ni mama yika no umbada mutire au shawa fidwa. And the Lord Jesus Christ has won. No mene Jesus Christ is over fidwa. Sister, what are your words of encouragement to the people watching you over all over the world? Mwame wicha shike toku moto ya jepa wame mutaramu nyanya ushe. Uh, my words of encouragement are taken from the book of Philippians 4, the 6 to 7. Um, it emphasizes that we should not be anxious about anything. But we should pray about everything. And it says that we should pray about everything. Whatever challenges you are finding yourself in, if you present them to God with prayers and petition, you shall indeed come through for you. Your hands love.